What's up my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat Sullivan and in today's video I'm going to show you three different ways that you can create product mock-ups for your digital products, for your online courses, for your bundles, and even physical products if you have them. I'm going to show you three different resources and they are all free. So you don't need to be a graphic design expert and you don't have to be a Photoshop ninja. You're going to learn everything you need to in this video right here. So let's dive in. Catherine Sullivan is the CEO and founder of Marketing Solve a serial entrepreneur, marketing coach, and online educator. You want to know this woman. All right, guys, so for the very first resource that you can use to create mock-ups for your products or for your digital courses, you can use Canva. So if you don't know what Canva is, it's a really great graphic design tool, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I use it. So I'm gonna pop open Canva, and I do have the paid account, so if you see some stuff unlocked on my account that's not on your account, that's because I have the pro account, but everything you're gonna see, you have access to with a free account. So to get us started, I'm just gonna open up an Instagram post here. I think I have a couple up in preparation. So uh, this is perfect for what I need. now. We are actually going to be creating a mock-up for this guide that I've just put together for my audience. Um, and just to go over what the guide is, essentially, uh, if you are using social media posts and you want people to take action, we call that phrase a call to action, which is gonna increase the amount of actions people are taking. However, uh, if you use the most common words, which are like, comment, and share, that's actually considered engagement based. And so Facebook and Instagram specifically will actually lower the amount of reach that you get on those posts. So I wanted to brainstorm and put together some alternative calls to action that are also algorithm friendly that people can use on their social media posts. And so you can see here, instead of saying, hey, comment below, I say stuff like drop a note below. So again, I put over 105 different ideas to get traffic, to get comments, to have them share, et cetera, et cetera, to sign up, to buy and I need to promote this free guide. And in order to do that, I need some kind of graphic or visual to use. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, and just to show you how I use these, this is the graphic that I use as the thumbnail. So if I post the link over on Facebook, this is what you could see. So I use our branding and then I go ahead and drop the product mock-up right on top. And so you can kind of see how I use it there. Um, I use it on the actual landing page where I'm telling people where to download it. So if you go to marketingsolve.com forward slash CTA, you can see exactly how I'm using this little opt-in page and how I've used the graphic that I made as well. Um, and then over here, I also do bundles. So sometimes I'll create multiple mock-ups these specifically for like my online courses. You can see I do a snapshot of what's inside, graphics, videos, stuff like that. So I've been doing these for quite a long time and I just wanted to give you some ideas for how they are used. And again, it just depends on what you're creating your mock-up for, but here are your alternatives. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually download this image that we can use for our product mock-ups. And to do that, I'm just gonna come up here, hit download. I'm gonna choose the PNG so I get the highest quality image. And then instead of selecting all pages, I'm just gonna hit page one, done, and download. And now I'm gonna have that in my downloads folder so that I can use it for my mockups. And here you go. So the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna go back to that canvas we opened up. Now, what you can start doing is, if you already have your image or whatever you're trying to do a mock-up for, you can come over here to Elements, and that's primarily where you are going to find the mock-ups. So inside of Elements, you can go to Frames and then See All, and I'll show you the four that I use the most. So the one I use a lot is obviously the desktop, the computer, it looks like the iMac, but it's a little generic here. And then there's the laptop, also the smartphone, and then the one I probably use the most, which is more of like a tablet. And these frames are already in there. Now, just so you know the difference, if you go up here and you type in iPad frame, you're gonna get some iPads. However, you can see the difference here to here. Now this one that has this little image on the inside makes it super easy for you to drag and drop and put an image inside of that tablet versus 
this one where you would have to come over and you would have to kind of, you know, make sure that you fit it in there. And so it's just a little bit of a different process, uh, which is why I prefer to use the element um, frames versus the just the elements themselves. Hopefully that made sense. So I'm going to download, or I'm going to delete those. And then we are just going to take this mock-up. We're going to come over here and we're going to upload the image that we just downloaded. So this algorithm friendly CTA graphic. And then all we're going to do, because this is a frame, is we're going to drag it and drop it inside. Now it does look like it's not perfectly, you can see here, you can kind of finagle it a little bit. Um, so it's not the perfect dimensions, but it's pretty darn close. So we'll kind of maybe do that. And that looks pretty good. And from here, all I do is I go ahead and go download. PNG, and then I'm gonna choose transparent background because I wanna use this on other graphics. So I'm just gonna select that and hit download. And that's gonna help me create my very first product mockup. So I can literally use this and upload it into graphics right away. Hopefully you learned a brand new way to use Canva to create mockups. Now I'm gonna show you another free resource right now to create more digital product mockups. And then in the third one, I'll show you how to create digital product mockups as well as physical product mockups. So let's pull the second resource up and it is mock you, the letter U, and then phone.com. So I'm just gonna click this, open it up, and show you how to use this really great resource for mockups. And you can see here it says free and simple screenshots device mockups generator. So basically it allows you to embed your design on a bunch of different devices. So I'm gonna click right here where it says other laptop, phones, tablets, and wearables, just so you get an idea of the different options that this has available. And you can see it starts with iOS, so you get all of the iPads and the iPhones, and they just have a ton of different options for each. And then as you go, there's Android um, wearables. I've used the computer a couple times for the MacBooks and the iMacs. So you can kind of see they look pretty realistic. They definitely are a little bit of an upgrade as far as this versus Canva. Uh, so typically what I do is I'll create mockups in mock you phone, and then I actually go back and upload them into Canva to create a bundled look. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that as well as a bonus. So if you are really learning something, make sure that you guys like and comment and subscribe to my channel because every single like that you leave helps us get these videos in front of more people. So we really appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to iOS and we're just going to do a, an iPad, which is similar to a tablet. I'm going to choose silver because I think that I like this aesthetic the most. It, it goes really well with my brand. And then it says here, super simple, just browse files and upload your image. You can see they do offer a recommended size here, which is 1620 by 2160. And you wanna make sure that you're as close to that as possible so that your design fits. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select browse files and we'll get the image for our guide uploaded. Now it does take a couple seconds to get it uploaded. And what we'll do from here is we will generate the product mockup. And what's really cool about Mock you Phone is they're actually gonna give you a few different alternative images that you can use. So I'll show you that in just a second. We've got it uploaded. You can see over here, it now says generate product mockups. So I'm gonna click that and it's going to work its magic and give me a really great high quality graphic that I can use online. And I use the Mock you Phone mockups for my landing pages and for my promotions. So this is exactly what I did. And you can see now that it is completed. So I'm just gonna select download my mockups and that's gonna start downloading. And you can see in my downloads folder that we do have those different options. So we've got the landscape algorithm friendly iPad image. And then we also have the portrait, which is the one that we will use. Okay. So now we have a couple options. You can see here, we've got on the left Canva and on the right, we have mock you phone. So you can see the difference here. Definitely a more uh, realistic view on mock you phone with that silver iPad versus the tablet over here with Canva. Okay. So for our last and final mock-up resource that you can start using for free is smartmockups.com. And again, I did save the best for last. This one has 
the most options that you can use, not only for digital products, but also for physical products. So you can see it's super easy to get started for free. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start showing you some of the different mockups and give you a little bit of an idea of how I use this so that you can get the most out of it. On smart mockups, you have more options than just the device itself. You can see that these have actual images where you can use as graphics, you can embed embed your designs and they have these really cool photos already done that you can use. So again, that makes this a really great resource. They have a ton of options. They've got all kinds of technology. They have watches. Um, they actually have little e-learning bundles that you can use, which I think is really cool. And you can select further by just filtering and saying you want to look at all the free ones. So if you were putting something together for an online course, you can see that they have some options already on there, uh, multiple devices. If you wanted to do something with two screens, again, tons of options. Then they've got print if you want to do magazines, if you want to do um, business cards, brochures, books. I use books quite a bit. I use magazines quite a bit for my guides. So there's a couple different ways you can use them. Then they've got different packaging for cosmetics and food. So as we talked about those physical products, if you want to see what it looks like, if you have a design and you just kind of want to test it, you can actually go in here and see what that would look like. So they've got packaging, they have apparel. If you've got t-shirts or t-shirt designs, you can use these mock-ups for that as well. They've got different products and as well social media. So there's so many different things you can do. It really just comes down to what you need. So what we're going to do is we are going to go back and we're going to stick with what we've been working on, which is that tablet. Now I'm going to show you how to use this. You can come over here. And again, as I mentioned, those filters, I'm going to select free. And I'm also going to select isolated, which is just going to give me the device, which is really all I need, right? I just need the device. I don't need a, a whole scene. I just need the, the image of the, the design. So I'm going to choose this one. This is the iPad Pro. It's about as close to the other two designs that we've created. And from here, I'm just going to select upload from. I'm going to get that upload uploaded image on there and boom, just like that, it's totally done. So I can hit download. I'm just gonna choose uh, an image quality that's high. You can again, download whatever you want. And then what we've got is we have a third option now. So now we have this one, which is in smart mockups. And then I'll show you the other two in comparison as well. Now, I wanted to give you just a special little bonus because I love you guys and I want to really make sure that you have everything you need. So if you are someone like me who is creating a guide or something that you need to download or showcase that's digital, what we use is the magazine option as well. And I use this little design graphic right here. And super simple. So if I don't want to put it or place it inside of an iPad or on an iPhone, or maybe you want to showcase your workbooks in a bundle, whatever that looks like, you can see here, I'm just going to do the same thing, but instead I'm going to use this magazine layout instead. And look how cool that looks. Like it definitely gives you something that's a little bit different. It's a realistic version, looks a little bit different. It's perfectly sized. And I'm just going to select download on that as well. So there's just so many different things that you can do. I really wanted to dive in and show you um, how to use this to like the fullest. All right, let's take a peek at what we've created. So the first design and mock-up we have here was created inside of Canva, and I think it looks good. The image didn't fit perfectly inside, and I know I could go back and do some resizing to finagle it, but I'm gonna leave that for now. I think it looks good. Definitely professional, would absolutely use that on my promotions. Now, the second one we created was in Mock You Phone, and I personally like this one the best. I think it has the most realistic design, and I'm really drawn to the option to use the silver or the white, or I think it's silver, rose gold, or black, but I like this. I feel like the white matches my business aesthetic really well as opposed to the dark, and it would be really cool on a dark or colored background as well. So I think you have a little bit more flexibility with design when you use something that's got a neutral um, palette. And then the third was with smart mockups. Again, this is the iPad Pro and this is a black frame and the graphic actually fit in here perfectly. I think it looks so good. So again, all three really great options, three different tools, all completely 
free. Now I'm going to dive in and I'm going to show you a little bit of a bonus. So stay with me because you're going to love it. Now for my final trick, I'm going to show you guys another bonus to create those bundles. And all I ask is that if you find this helpful, if you like this bonus, that you make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've liked this video. So what I do is I upload the mockups that I created in the other programs and I upload them back into Canva. Then what I'll do from here is basically just create my own scene for my product. So I wanted to scroll down just to show you how I've used some of these mockups and give you a really good example. So here we go, we've got the the big iMac. I guess we can call it the Big Mac. <laughs> I'm kidding, that was a really bad joke. So if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> and you can see, I can just kind of put these over it, right? So I've got the one graphic and I used it to go on an iPad. I put it on the iMac. Um, I've also got it on a book. So you can kind of see how by creating multiple graphics, you actually do get a little bit more flexibility in what you're designing. So you can see there's a couple of different options here. And then I can come in and say, hey, you're also, you know, whatever you're gonna get, if this is a course, um, you're gonna get this as well. And then if I have a iPhone scene right here, um, I can use that as well. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. Obviously, I'm just kind of going really, really fast as a showcase, but it gives you an idea of how you can leverage this. And also you can always change the canvas size if you really wanna kind of have more, um, more room. I'm just kind of playing around just to show you, but hopefully this does give you some ideas in how to leverage mockups in a smarter way to highlight your programs and your downloads and make it look good. So I would be happy with that on a sales page or on an opt-in page. And then all I would do is I would hit that download button one more time. I would again choose transparent background because I wanna use them on landing pages. And then I'd hit download and then I have a really cool graphic that I can use. And so again, I just wanted to show you that one more time, kind of wrap it all up in a nice little bow and show you how you can take something and create something beautiful. All right, guys, I hope you found that super helpful. Now, if you did, I always ask as a favor to help us creators, if you found this helpful, if you learned something new, please make sure that you give this video a like. Go ahead and leave us a comment. That will help us get in front of more people. It's such a small thing, uh, but it makes a really big impact for us. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.